So stories have little guidelines that you can follow that are, it's almost like a cheat sheet because if you get, if you do these little checklist things, the story just, it becomes better and better and better. And one of the things you wanna watch for is called the rule of three. The rule of three is used in all kinds of things. It's used in art. If you look at art on the wall, you can almost always find triangles, like three points of interest that move the eye around the canvas or the photograph, for example. Um, a second uh, thing about threes is, um, well, think about the great uh, fairy tales and uh, nursery rhymes, uh, like uh, the th how many little pigs were there? Three. How many uh, bears? Three bears. How many bowls of porridge did Goldilocks eat? Three. It's always three. Uh, if I tell you a joke, these three Eskimos walk into a 7-Eleven. Oh, you heard it? Uh, it's never 17 Eskimos walk into a 7-Eleven. You with me? It's three. And which one's the funniest? The last one. It's always the last one. So they're ordered. So it's very crafty how this is done. That's what makes a good joke. That's what makes a good uh, fairy tale. And that's what makes a good story. So the rule of three. We also know that eye contact is fabulous, and I wanna ask you to engage in something called sustained eye contact. So sustained eye contact is when you would engage somebody for a few seconds longer than you otherwise might engage them. Not too long, because that's creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a stare down here. You're in there pretty good. <laughs> And because most people don't have this kind of sustained eye contact, it's going to amp up my communication acumen, right? My, my, my scorecard, because I'm hanging in there with her, you see? And even now, with 100 people in the room, I can establish eye contact with almost everybody in the room in a direct way. 100 seems like a lot, and I don't know if I'm gonna get everybody individually. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Predator. <laughs> You know, but this, in the speaking business, if you're in front of a crowd, you call it the V, right? So it's, we have a giant V like this. We have a V over here. 